Good evening, everyone. I'm Chad Mira. And I'm Lauren Culver. Thanks for watching KX News. In our top story tonight, a new livestock auction facility on 80th Street northeast of Bismarck has hit a snag. The city of Bismarck approved a permit for the livestock sales barn back in 2015, then reapproved it this past October. Both times, a site plan showed a facility that would handle approximately 2,500 to 3,000 head of cattle per day. The permits made the project a done deal, or that's what the owners thought anyway. But now the city attorney has issued a determination saying the facility will be classified as an AFO, or animal feeding operation, so basically a feedlot. That ruling limits the amount of cattle that can be on the premises. Attorney Christopher Nias represents the owners of the business. He says the ruling that the facility is a feedlot versus a sales barn is completely false and unfair. It's certainly not fair, and I don't think what they're doing is legal. They've approved the site plan. Anybody who looked at this site plan at the beginning knew that this facility was going to handle more than 299 head of cattle in any given day. The most recent restrictions are after the fact in an attempt to just restrict it, and I think it's based on public pressure. You know, my clients have, have relied, my clients have relied on this permit from the get-go, and they've put money into the ground, they've built the facility, and they're going to proceed. Nias nice says no other livestock auction market in the state is classified as a feedlot. Nias nice is appealing the Bismarck City Attorney's ruling to the Bismarck Board of Adjustments. It's on the agenda for June 6th. In the meantime, he says his clients will continue construction and are prepared to take the matter to court. Now, I spoke with the City Planning and Zoning Committee on why this last-minute determination. Ben Arith, the Director of Community Development, told me that they were never aware of the amount of cattle the sales barn might have on the premises and only learned about the number of cattle at a public input meeting back in January. He says the sales barn is still permitted and can operate as a livestock sales pavilion so long as it doesn't raise to the level of an animal feeding operation. Following these new developments and before Thursday's appeal hearing, the City of Bismarck's holding its follow-up public information meeting tonight. KX News reporter Robert Sir joins us live outside Legacy High School with the latest. Robert, good evening. Yeah, Chad and Lauren, good evening to you both. As you mentioned, I'm outside of Legacy High School here. We're about an hour. The Bismarck City Commission will hold what they are calling a public information update about the new sales barn being built on 80th Street, just to the northeast of me here in Bismarck. What we expect city leaders to tell the public is exactly what we just told you. Now, this topic has been a heated one ever since we broke the news for the plans of the barn back in early December. The owners of the property say it will give ranchers a desperately needed second option for buying and selling livestock after the Farmers Livestock Exchange sales barn closed in 2012. Residents and county officials have voiced numerous concerns over the project, including noise, heavy truck traffic and odors. In fact, nearly 200 people turned out to the last public meeting held in January, and it did get heated at times. Tonight, officials are expected to provide an update and release additional information about the project and respond to what looks like plenty of questions from residents. We'll have much more on what happened tonight coming up on KX News at 10. For now, we're outside of Legacy High School. Robert Sir, KX News. Could be an interesting meeting. Robert, reporting live. Thank you. New today, Minot Police say they're investigating.